And talking tourism now, the House of Representatives Committee on Culture and Tourism has threatened a zero budget allocation to the National Theatre, Lagos. If the controversy surrounding the Culture House is not addressed amicably, Chairman of the Committee on Culture and Tourism, Ogbeide Ihama, said this during the 2022 budget defense. Emmanuel Ehijine report is presented from our studios. The Chairman, House Committee on Culture and Tourism, Ogbeide Ihama, made the threat on the leadership of the National Theatre, who appeared before it to defend the 2022 budget. Ogbeide said that the rumors surrounding the possible sale of the national edifice and being replaced with a five-star hotel by the federal government, the committee is constrained to allocate funds for its operations in the 2022 fiscal year. The lawmaker expressed worries that the edifice, which ought to have been replicated in all the states for tourism purposes, has been utterly ignored and left to ruins. The federal government presents a national budget that still covers national theatre, and the head of that theatre sits before us and wants us to commit more public funds into national theatre where we do not even know the status of national theatre. In a later development, the Director General, National Council for Art and Culture, Sheb Rushawe, also commended the National Assembly, the EFCC, as well as the Minister of FCT, Mohamed Bello, for the quick intervention in averting the takeover of the land belonging to the NCAC. Rushawe made the commendation when the leadership of the National Council for Art and Culture appeared before the Committee for the 2022 Budget Defense. That land is worth 9.8 billion naira. This is government property, so people want to take over. It's more important than any other because that place can generate over 30 million IPR for us, IGR. So I need to make it known today what happened after your visit to the place. Sir, we do respect, sir, to this committee, sir. Silver Bond. The other Center, center PTDF, all is owned by this NCAC, the land, but was taken over. Meantime, the DG of the National Theatre, Professor Sandy Dodo, had told the committee of how the National Theatre had gone through serious dilapidation and the need to rehabilitate it is why the federal government with the CBN Bankers Committee came to an understanding. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.